So I was in Arizona visiting my grandma and grandpa. I was a young little fuck, let's say 13. Grandpa was this old army vet, tough as fuck, always had a cigar in his mouth, swore like a sailor, had to get shit faced every night to sleep. He was still cool as fuck to me, always let me shoot guns with him in the desert. So one day of vacation, mom and dad get roped into looking at some houses with grandma. They thought they were going to move down there, huh. Grandpa evacs me from that shit, and we hop in his truck to head into the desert to go pow pow. Drive out miles on some random trail. Can't see the town we came from. Can't see shit but sand and cactuses. Perfect. Start setting up cans and random metal targets from Gramps truck, out a few yards away like usual. Get shit set up and meet Gramps behind the truck. This is how I know my grandpa wasn't fucking around for the rest of this. He kneels down next to me and puts his hand on my shoulder. Bonding time.mp4 Anon, you're a smart kid. Good shot too. So I want you to see this. Grandad takes a handgun from the back of his waistband and hands it to me. Old as fuck 1911. Heavy as shit with scratches and marks all over it. Grandad tells me this was his service pistol and he wanted me to shoot it that night. Felt slick as fuck. Even better when Grandad took a holster from the back of the truck and helped me put it on my waist. Holster held the gun in two extra mags. Remember feeling like a cowboy, lol. Grandad gets a rifle from the truck and sets up on the back. About an hour or so into shooting, it starts to get dark. If you've ever been in the desert at just about sundown, the whole sky lights up with colours. Makes me think there's a god for a bit. Gramps thinks we should start heading out. We both walk over to start picking up targets and cans that are still intact. I walk out to the far targets like a cowboy, bow-legged, feeling cool, handgun in my right hand. Get a huge whiff of shit all of a sudden. Turn looking around for the source and peeking over a small dune. Maybe 30 feet away was this overweight white guy, in a very dirty white shirt. Thing had holes and was covered in dirt and muck. Looks like he hasn't seen civilization in months. Hair was all frazzled and he had the blankest look on his face. Guy starts walking up and over the mound towards me and I instantly halt tracks and start to backpedal. Gramps takes notice and yells at the guy to fuck off, and that he has a gun. Guy doesn't even glance at him, and just keeps walking at me. So, fight or flight, right? Usually the brain picks one, mine tried to pick both. Feet try to run, arms raise the handgun to fire. End up stumbling and shooting around off into the distance. Next few seconds felt like minutes. Big guy starts sprinting at me, yelling with this unholy gurgle. Sounded like a water pump with the bass cranked up. I turned and ran towards Gramps, who had already started advancing, rifle raised. I am about 20 feet from Gramps when he fires three shots to the right. I hear the dull thunk of bullets tearing through flesh and fat. Turn head over shoulder and see nothing. No fat guy, no bullet holes, nothing. Turn back to Grandpa, who is about 10 feet away and he looks as confused and scared as I feel. Keep running towards him when I hear a gargle off to my right. A thin little fucker who could have been Lardo's brother comes over another small dune maybe 30 feet from my grandpa and I. Guy looks just as bad. His pants are torn and has no shoes. Feet must have been blistered to shit. Grandpa doesn't even wait with this one and dumps five bullets into him. I was pretty close to him and didn't expect more shooting. So in a panic, I dropped his 1911 in the sand, right by his feet as he's firing. I see all the bullets hit skinny, center mass, and he falls back over the dune, and the telltale ping of the Garan telling us that she's empty. Gramps looks down at his handgun, then grabs me, throwing me under his arm and hauls ass back to the truck. Didn't complain, was starting to cry at this time. Throws his rifle in the back and peels the hell out of the clearing. Had to drive around the dune where skinny was. No body at the bottom, but there were marks in the dune where a body could have slid down. I've never done 80 over sand in a truck again, but I bet if I wasn't shitting myself that Grandpa had murdered two people, I would have found it fun. After I've calmed down, we still have a good 30 minutes until we're back home. Grandpa doesn't mention anything about what happened, and drives right past home and goes to Walmart. Takes me to the video game section and buys me an Xbox 360 and Halo. 
imagining ourselves at the checkout sounds fucking funny. I looked petrified, and he had that thousand yard stare ever since we got in the truck. On the way back home, he tells me not to say anything to my parents and just go to bed. Found out he told them that I almost had an accident by shooting myself, which wasn't a lie, and that it had really freaked me out so he bought me a present. Find out he tells dad that he lost his 1911 last year in the move. I left the occasion never able to talk to him about it. He died about two years later, went peacefully in his sleep. After I got older and started diving into X, I realised what happened that night. That or grandpa had magic bullets that make bodies disappear.